Hi everyone. Today's video is all about OET reading. So if you're a first time taker planning to write the test or if you're someone already preparing for the test and would like to refresh on what you already know about OET reading, then continue watching this video. What is OET reading? Well, out of the four subtests that a candidate needs to attend in the OET, reading is one exam. To be exact, it is the second test that you will be taking soon after the listening test. Now, one of the most craziest question or notion that a student has brought up uh, during a conversation I was having regarding the OET is when it comes to reading, the student just asked me, so how does the OET reading test actually happen? Are you made to read out aloud from a text and are you checked on how good you are at reading it aloud? Is that what OET reading is all about? Well, that has put me to thoughts thinking there might be many students out there thinking on what exactly OET reading is. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It is a test that checks your English ability when it comes to reading. That is when you're exposed to large amounts of texts, how well are you able to comprehend? How good are you at picking out only the relevant information from the bits of text that you can see? Able to understand the overall idea of the text or even identify and understand the opinions that people lay out in written texts. So these are the skills that OET reading actually checks. There are three parts in OET reading. You have part A, part B and part C. And I'm sure at some point of time, you'd have heard that OET reading is quite challenging, especially when it comes to part C. In a while, I'll tell you why you have come across such a thought. OET reading part A is the first test that you will take in this reading exercise. And this test lasts for around 15 minutes. In these 15 minutes, you have to answer 20 questions, which simply means you don't even have a full minute to answer a question. And that also means that it is checking how quick you are in being able to go through the text and pick out only the relevant bit of information. So imagine yourself in this condition. What if you're under a lot of pressure? What if you have deadlines to meet and at the same time you have to live up to a challenge? That's exactly what happens in OED reading part A. You have to go through four bits of texts. Now these texts are all related to one common medical concept. For instance, let's take the example of uh, a concept, the sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Now, if that was the main topic of OET reading part A, the four texts will be associated with same concept. For instance, part A, the first text could be about what the definition of SIDS is. The second could be statistics that shows about uh, the kind of counts that SIDS has taken around the world. The third could be how to prevent SIDS. And the fourth could be maybe a managing SIDS. So you have one medical concept and four different texts on this. Remember, one of it could be a graphical or a pictorial representation. Now, based on reading these four bits of texts, you have to answer the 20 questions. And these 20 questions are again divided into three different types of questions. The first one is a matching question, which simply means you will be given sentences. And these sentences are picked out from one of these four texts. You have to match which bit of information is taken from which bit of text, as in, is it text A, text B, text C, or text D that the information is taken from? The next set of questions that is possible are short answer questions. Here, you are required to fill in the answers using a word or a short phrase, picking these exactly from the text given to you. And the third question type is a completion task. So you will have certain sentences with blanks given. You have to fill out the right word, again identifying these words 
from the four texts given to you. So this is what part A of reading is all about. Moving on to part B of reading. Well, this is one of the most exciting parts of OET reading because you are exposed to six short extracts. And in each of these extracts, the word count could range somewhere from 100 and 150 words. Okay, so from 100 to 150 words is a count that you'll have to deal with when it comes to part B of reading. Now, these six short extracts could be picked from handbooks, manuals, it could be emails, it could be memos. So, everyday medical context, if you are somebody working in a healthcare context, you would be getting some kind of an email notification. So, part B could be an extract from a similar email. So, out of these six short extracts, you have to answer all the six. Each will be a multiple choice question. You will be given three options, A, B and C, and you have to choose one right answer. Moving on to the last part of reading, OET reading part C. Like I already mentioned, this is identified as one of the most challenging parts of reading. The reason is simple. You're exposed to longer texts here. And in part C, you have to read two different texts, text one and text two. Now, each of these texts, the word count could range somewhere between 600 to 700 words. You will have around six to seven or even eight paragraphs in each of these texts. You have to answer eight questions per text, which means in part C, a total of two texts, eight questions each, 16 questions on the whole to answer. So these eight questions are again divided into three types. They are all basically multiple choice questions. Each of these questions points you to a particular paragraph, which means the first question is mostly in paragraph one. And the question is given in such a way that it will say, according to paragraph one, which simply means you will know exactly where to look for the answer. Out of these eight questions, one is called a reference question. It simply means out of the text given from one of the paragraphs, a pronoun is picked, maybe a word like it or they. And you have to try and identify what that word it or they refers to. The other kind of question in part C is a vocabulary question. So a word or a short phrase is picked from the text and again you're required to read that particular paragraph and identify what is intended by that particular word or phrase. Here in part C of reading, even though it's a multiple choice question, you will have to go through four answer options. Option A, B, C and D. And that is one small difference part C of reading has when compared to part B. Like I already mentioned, in part B, you will have to go through just three answer options. Now, this is one other reason going through four different answer options. That is one other reason why students find part C very challenging. Because I'm sure at this point, you would realize that eliminating three options that are not relevant is not an easy task. But of course, it's possible with the right strategies and techniques. So this is what OET reading is all about. Now, to be able to perform really well, to get a score of 350 and above, you have to ensure that out of the entire 42 questions given to you, you have to score somewhere above 30, in which case you ensure that you get a decent score. Now, to help you improve on your reading skills, you have to ensure that you build on your speed of reading. If you're someone who's not used to reading in English, then this is the right time to start this new habit of reading in English. Start with short texts that really interest you. It could be a movie review. It could be 
anything, any topic that you're interested in, like a travelogue, or it could also be something related to your medical context. But make sure you inculcate this habit of reading regularly. As you start reading, you will start identifying words, phrases, and usages. And slowly you will realize that you enjoy this whole concept of reading. And that will give you an upper hand when it comes to practicing your OET reading. I'm sure you will ace it with just this particular trick. And of course, the rest lies in mastering the different strategies that will help you wade through the three different parts of OET reading, part A, B, and C. And for that, I can help you here. You can download our app, MedCity OET app. It's really helpful when it comes to learning the different strategies. We have video lessons, we have practice materials, and the biggest advantage is it's completely free to use. You can download it for free and try out all our free videos and practice materials. And if you're interested further, you can also join our online classrooms. Or you could just contact us in one of our branches and join us for our offline classes. I hope this video has helped you in identifying what OET reading is and the three different parts associated with it. Good luck with your OET preparations. Thank you. MedCity International Academy. Trusted hands forever.